Hello my darlings. So I'm coming to you again <laughs> with another Ibiza vlog, not from the same trip. So Charlie and I got home on, uh, when did we get back? Last Monday. And we did what we needed to do in London. We went to the Wimbledon finals, which you guys might have seen in last Tuesday's vlog. And we just decided that we had the biggest holiday blues ever and we needed to get ourselves back to Ibiza. We were actually meant to be in Greece this week on a press trip, Hola. just ordering some drinks. Um, yeah, we were meant to be on a press trip to Greece this week, but it was sadly where the storms hit, Halkidiki, so that has been postponed. So basically we had an entire week with nothing in the diary, which never happens. So we looked on lastminute.com and booked ourselves a very last minute trip to Ibiza, which is where we are now. So this week, we're only here for four days, I'm just going to share with you a little bit of what we're doing and mostly what I am wearing because I know I didn't focus that much on what I was wearing in the last Ibiza vlog and I got lots of questions on how to dress in an affordable way but very stylishly for your upcoming holidays so hopefully this trip will give you lots of inspo. Today. Um, We've come to a fabulous beach club called Amante Ibiza, which is in Calayonga. So it's a little bit further south at Santa Eulalia and it's absolutely beautiful. We didn't book a, um, a beach bed, so we're just kind of in the waiting area, which is rather beautiful. We're gonna have a coffee here and hope that someone doesn't turn up so we can take a beach bed. And then just gonna spend the day enjoying these gorgeous views. But before we settle down for the day, let me show you my very first beach outfit of the day. this plastic. Yikes. Mm, lunch round two has arrived. This is a risotto with vegetables from the local garden. Tierra Tamante. It's so good. Hungry man about town. after our day on the beach yesterday that we ended up just wearing what we were wearing on the beach. No makeup to go for a really chilled pizza in Santa Eulalia, so yeah, you didn't miss much last night. Um, today we have come back to Calanova, which was one of our favourite beaches, or absolutely our favourite beach, when we came last week. It's where Atsaro Beach Club is, so we've come here again for the day. As far as beach clubs go, I've actually just written a blog post on my favourite beach clubs in Ibiza, and um, I've listed this as number one because value wise normally you pay something like 70 euros for the bed which is crazy and then you get nothing for it but here it's a price per person and that's not the price of the bed you then get that money off your food and your drink for the day so actually you're kind of getting the bed for free which is amazing especially considering how beautiful it is here and the food is fantastic the view as you can see behind me the beach is amazing and there's some fabulous rocks over there that you can jump off straight into the sea super refreshing so this is where we're going to spend the rest of the day um, I've got normal clothes on at the moment because we did a bit of work at the hotel this morning just doing emails and stuff but now I'm going to get changed into my bikini but before I do I'm going to ask Charlie dear to show you my outfit of the day the sandal 
pearls are River Island, but they're from last year. They were such a good buy. They've got these beautiful pearls on them and they are water shoes. They're like old school jelly shoes. Um, but yeah, they were from last year, but I did notice in the River Island store on Oxford Circus that they do have a very similar pair this year. Although I think they're kind of silver, whereas these are gold. So I'll leave those ones linked down below if these ones are not back in stock again. But anyway, outfit of the day, and then it's time to get the bikini on. Well, last week was the working version, um, but I've just tried on this swimsuit that was very kindly sent to me from a brand called Everj. They have like pajamas and loungewear, um, and I saw that they are stocked in Selfridges in the premium section. And they sent me this swimsuit, and it is so beautiful that I can't resist getting a little snappuccino. So Charlinko is over there posing. Um, hope we're going to grab some snaps for me very quickly before we flop on the sunbeds and chill out for the rest of the day. You said I was a piece of art. And this is our home for the day at Saddle Beach Club, Galanova. A little bit choppier here today than when we came last week. It was like perfectly clear that these rocks are great for diving off. Do you know what? I've taken my posy pictures. I think I'm gonna go and put my bikini on to tan it up a little bit, even though I've got Factor 50 on. <laughs> and then I put this swimsuit on again when I want to do some lunchtime posing. It's lunchtime and we are sat a meter away from where we were sunbathing up in the restaurant at, at Sado Beach. We've ordered just a couple of nibbles. Yum yum. Got some patatas bravas coming in a second. Outfit wise, pretty much same as what I was wearing earlier, but I popped, 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 oh my god, I can't talk. Popped on my little Mizoni beach cover up. I actually got this from Vista Village two summers ago, um, and I'm always on the lookout for high street dupes. And I do actually have a high street dupe of this, also in my beach bag, that I'll be popping on later, so I'll show you that shortly. Um, but yeah, time to eat. Charlie Owen's office this afternoon. Yeah, just doing a little blog post. It's not really work. Well, that is work. You're a blogger. Yeah, it's a hobby. <laughs> hobby that pays the bills. Bon appetit. For once, I've gone for the slightly healthier option. Although we all know I'm going to be eating all the bread. Mm. Yes. Beach. I feel like a real sea salty windswept beach babe today. Although I have to say I've done a bit of pampering um, while the sun has been going down. It's nearly half seven already. I actually bought some Olaplex and my full shampoo, conditioner, purology spray and hair oil remedy routine with me. So I've actually already washed my hair. Obviously it's just dried with the sea breeze. So it's going to be a little bit crazy. Um, but I've popped on this fabulous neon almost Mizzoni-esque play suit from River Island and it is so good at enhancing a tan. Um, so perfect after a day in the sun. It'd be good if you want to go from like beach to bar, anything like that. It's a really fun little print and very designer-esque. So I've just popped it on with my sandals, the same ones as earlier. Actually, no, I wasn't wearing these earlier. 
Um, but these ones have got the lovely metallic beads in them, so perfect for jazzing up a beachy outfit. My usual hat, which I've had so many questions on on um, Instagram, it's from Manga a couple of years ago. And then my giant Lueve bag, which is getting heavier by the day because I have my entire shampoo routine in there. Um, but yeah, it's looking just gorgeous as the sun begins to set here at Atsaro Beach. We're gonna head back to the hotel quickly for another spruce up and then out for dinner. hotel and after a quick little spruce up we are ready to go for dinner while I wait for Charlie to get ready it's me that's ready first today I thought I would just quickly go through a few of my beauty favorites um, in case you've got any holidays coming up or if you're looking to update your beauty kit for summer so let me show you a few of the things that I have been loving using I was gonna do this as its own separate video but then I thought you know what let's just put it in the vlog so, in no particular order, I have very much been enjoying this little palette from the Galan Terracotta Collection. Very easy to pack because it's so narrow and you've got two different shades of bronzer. One is slightly more matte and one slightly more shimmery and then there's also this lovely blush and highlight duo. Plus the mirror in the lid is really handy as well. So that's actually been coming with me in my beach bag. A kind of random favourite but this is my little wet brush which collapses down. It's got a mirror in the lid and it's just again very very handy to have in a beach bag because my hair gets incredibly knotty. Another favourite is my Bare Minerals Original Foundation. This does not clog up my pores, it means that my skin can breathe and it still gives me a lovely amount of coverage, as much or as little as I want. As you can see, I'm getting through it. Um, and yeah, always bring one of these with me on holiday because it just gives me a bit of coverage, but without caking up my skin. I'm all about the glow on holiday, so I bought with me this brand new Becca highlight, but just as I went to open it today, it smashed all over the floor. Literally, there it is, the sad remnants of the new Becca highlight. I think, unfortunately, maybe the cleaner must have dropped it, but yeah, I'm just gonna cherish this tiny little bit that I've got left, and um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully I'll just still be able to use it from that bit, but it comes in this amazing gold sparkly packaging. And this is the Champagne Pop um, highlight, which is just absolutely gorgeous. I've got two SPFs for the face with me. This one is my favorite for like proper sunbathing. It's SPF 50 from Caudalie. It doesn't make your face go white, doesn't leave any unflattering glow or anything like that. And this is part of the Ocean Protect collection. So there's no ingredients in here which are going to harm the coral or harm the environment. And generally just a really good way of protecting the, um, the skin from signs of aging. SPF 50 is obviously really high. And I've never burnt with this. And I seem to get a really lovely tan and then I was very recently sent the new great 8 8 hour daily defense moisturizer from Elizabeth Arden this is SPF 35 so I've mostly just been wearing this in the mornings and the evenings not when I'm proper like hardcore out in the Sun and I think I'll continue to use this back in the UK it's got eight different benefits including nourishing the skin you can use it as a primer you can use it as a makeup base things like that as well as the SPF protection if you are prone to mosquito bites, like I most definitely am, I would also highly recommend popping one of these in your travel bag. This is the Avon Skin So Soft. It's not actually advertised as an anti-mosquito spray, but I heard somewhere that they even use it in the Navy and the Army for um, protecting against insect bites because it really does work, but obviously you don't get any of that horrible smell, and it's just a lovely dry oil for the body, so I always mist my ankles and my shoulders with this before going out in the evenings. And finally, this is just a small selection of my favorites. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer. This is like a lip gloss and it just slightly alters to the most flattering color for your particular lips. I don't know how it works, but it does and it's amazing. And it just gives them a very subtle plump up. I think it's got hyaluronic acid in there and it's just lovely for getting a bit of a perfect pout after a day on the beach. So yeah, these are just some of my favorite things that I have been loving using while we've been here in Ibiza. Good evening. <laughs> so we've come to a restaurant called Chiringuito Blue. What does Chiringuito mean? Well, I thought it meant little shed, but apparently uh -uh. it means outdoor restaurant. Yeah, yeah, open air restaurant is the translation, but I don't know how... And it is very much open air. Yeah, well there you go. Outfit of the evening, I will show you stood up later, but this lovely little Zimmerman dress, um, my little Topshop bag, and Chanlu earrings, Topshop necklace. More importantly, we have got my favorite Spanish food, which is croquetas de jamón. They look amazing. 
Greek kind of satsiki and pita it's bread. Up. We've already eaten the radishes. And then we've got something else coming, Greek salad, whole chicken, and lots of potatoes for us. It is our last day in Ibiza, but luckily we don't fly until 11.45 tonight, so we have the full day to enjoy. And we've come to my favourite place at Sara Hotel. You can come here, I think it's 80 euros minimum spend per person, and um, obviously like yesterday, that goes off your food, goes off any spa treatments. So we've booked ourselves in for a poolside cabana. This is the 40 metre pool. Freshwater pool. Freshwater pool, if you want to do some lengths. Um, so we're just gonna chill here for the rest of the day. We've also got dinner booked here later on. So we're just gonna be at Zarrowing for the full final day. We don't have dinner until eight o'clock and it's currently half 10. So we really do have a full day, which is the perk of getting a super late flight. I've got my lovely little um, beach cover up dress on from River Island, which is one of my favorites. I'll ask Char to do a little pan in a second. Um, and then it's time to do some final hours of sunbathing. <laughs> So we've been down by the pool for a couple of hours and we've both decided we're a little bit peckish so we've come up to the restaurant and I just need to show you how stunning this place is. It's in like a pergola and the lighting is just dappled and beautiful. It's probably the most photogenic and beautiful restaurant I think I've ever seen. <laughs> calorie count on holiday but seeing as it's the last day I'm going all out with a chocolate and banana milkshake and don't, banana. oh sorry uh, strawberry and banana and don't worry these are not plastic straws they are I think they're made from bamboo so they are 100% eco biodegradable that time has now come we've had to go and shower and get on our final evening outfits we're staying at at Zorro, um, for dinner we're gonna eat in the orange tree restaurant which is so beautiful I can't wait to show it to you just had a quick shower in the spa and I've put on the same dress as last night because I didn't get any nice pictures and it's one of my favorites uh, it's this lovely Zimmerman number love the shirt detail at the top here and then I've got on my River Island gold sandals which are a bit of a dupe for the Valentino ones so comfortable and I feel like they really elevate every outfit I've gone for very simple hair and makeup tonight Charlie's just got back from paying the bill <laughs> so let's go and get some dinner We were just getting the jamon and croquetas again, even though we had the exact same for lunch. So damn good.